Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this lesson, I am going to tell you about short circuit current calculation contribution from various electrical equipment. This is the SLD I am going to consider for a short circuit calculation. So I am going to calculate short circuit contributed by this transformer on this 3.3 kV bus. Similarly, short circuit contribution from this generator this motor and this static load. So what is the overall short circuit current on this bus number 33 I have to calculate. So straight away I am going for a short circuit uh, modulate. I am running short circuit. Uh, thereby I am concluding uh, short circuit current on this bus as 28.734 okay so have a look at this short circuit contribution from this transformer is about 22.356 kilo amps no short circuit contribution from uh, load 4.75 mva and uh, short circuit contribution from the motor is about 0.438 kilo amps and hence uh, we got this number overall number as 28.734 and now I will calculate how to uh, get these numbers through manual calculations I want to calculate short circuit current from trafo uh, for this uh, I do want to understand a few parameters let me go back to this model uh, open this grid side uh, rating about 11 kV and short circuit uh, MVA about 762.102 or short circuit current is 40 kilo amps. So from this it is uh, very easy to understand what is short circuit level on this particular uh, grid. So uh, SCMVA grid value is about uh, 762.102. Okay. Then, uh, if you want to find out source impedance, percentage of source impedance. This is equal to your uh, RAFO MVA divided by uh, short circuit MVA, which is specified by the grid authority. So, your percentage impedance is going to be. your percentage impedance is going to be uh, this is source impedance I am calculating trafo impedance is then MVA divided by this 762.102 this value is uh, 0.013122 then you can now uh, it is in terms of percentage so go for uh, multiplication by 100 so it is going to be 1.312 in terms of percentage so source impedance has been calculated then coming to transformer the transformer impedance i have chosen 7.15 which is typical value I actually I have chosen here uh, in fact 7.15 you can also choose typical value but I have chosen uh, 7.15 here yes okay so because of 7.15 I were percentage trafo is 
percentage as per the data sheet uh, now you can simply calculate uh, ISE from trafo is going to be uh, your trafo current in fact secondary secondary current now what is trafo secondary current again go back to this transformer check the rating page 1750 is trafo secondary current okay. so trafo secondary current is 1750 so your uh, ISE from trafo that is contribution from transformer is going to be this 1750 divided by uh, these two value these two value in the sense uh, one point in fact I can go for some of these two this one plus this one so these two values are in terms of percentage so uh, I want to multiply number 100 here in the numerator so this is what uh, contribution from traffic but E tab always gives multiplication with C factor. So for the voltage is greater than 1 kV, multiplication factor of C is 1.1. Uh, so E tab, E tab value is going to be 1.1 times of this number. So it is going to be 22.745748 approximately. But what is the formula for ISC from trafo? It is very simple. I can give it here. Trafo I secondary. Uh, for uh, I do not want uh, this 1750. Simply I want trafo secondary. That's it. Trafo is secondary, even you can say rated or trafo I a rated secondary. Rated secondary divided by on this case percentage of is a group plus is it In fact, is it grouped in plus is it trafo? That's it. So we got uh, eta value as uh, 22748 and uh, normal calculation is 20.680. So I think this is what you have witnessed here while running um, short circuit on this particular bus. So look at this 22.356. So I'm getting um, 20.680 approximately, which is closer value here. Then uh, coming to motor, what is the motor value? 300 kilowatt rating. So go to a uh, nameplate detail rated current of 61.28 when you move to impedance this is what deciding your short circuit current 650 percentage that means whatever the current contribution from motor during short circuit motor short circuit current is Percentage L or C multiplied by I rated. What is percentage L or C? It is 6.5. So 6.5 that is 650 percent. 650 percent is 650 divided by 100. 6.5 multiplied by rated current. Go to name plate 61.28. 61.28. 
398.32 so this is actual value but eta always takes 1.1 times of this number 1.1 times of this number I made a mistake so it is 438 amps then I check it here uh, once again while running you may get this 438 something number approximately here 0.438 kilamps then similarly contribution from contribution from gin generator PSA okay so how to calculate that you just go to the rating page uh, actually uh, this is 5 megawatt rated machine what factor decides short circuit current contribution if you ask me xc double dash xc double dash is subtransient reactance it subtransient reactance decides your short circuit current so 19 percent so 19 percent okay so your uh, short circuit current is decided by this xd double dash so here simply i can say i rated divided by xd double dash okay now what is i rated uh, actually here i do not want to put this is a formula i rated you go to this i rated is uh, 1029 1029 earlier we have seen 19% uh, is 19% percentage means 0.19 so what is the contribution 5415.789 so as per eta value as I mentioned earlier 1.1 times of this number so 5957 approximately 5.95 kilos so uh, you know how to calculate uh, Trafo contribution, motor contribution, and generator contribution. Then coming to this load, this is actually a static load. The static load uh, about uh, 4.75 MVA. So remember, static load never contribute any short circuit current. Okay, so that is what short static load never contributes any short circuit current. So that's the reason why this is uh, zero contribution. So put all these three values together you are getting 28.739 kilohms similarly you just calculate IAC total and you go for total I can simply calculate it this number this is my eta value plus this number eta value and this number so it is uh, saying 29.143 but here 28.739 approximately close value so this is how short circuit current you can calculate so that's it from this video of maybe uh, in the next video i'll catch up with a very good lesson till then bye bye